Well, it is about 50 degrees colder here than it is in Michigan. We just got to the lodge here, Safari River. Lance and Emily are waiting inside. We're gonna find out which rooms we've got. It's dropped here in Saskatchewan, 25 degrees over the last day. And there was a snowstorm today, it just ended, which means it's like perfect timing to get out tomorrow morning because the deer have probably been hunkered up most of the day today. Tomorrow morning, they should be up and moving, definitely hitting food. So tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Buddy. How's it going? How are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Mark. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Oh, don't pick your nose. That's gross. You are no. Excuse me. Here, my face. The reveals. You run it. One thing that's never lacking here is the good food. Craig is amazing. So over the course of a week, I think I put a lot of pounds of my life on here with you, Craig. <laughs> It's still only the sixth or fifth. You know, we're still in the period where sometimes we'd be like still waiting for our target bucks to show up. You know, they're not even full into their, you know, we're, we're just pre-rut right now. You're still pre-rut here? Pre-rut, we got what, full moon coming in. Mm -hmm. We're pre-rut. We're finally starting to see, uh, you know, big scrape lines, big scrape patterns. Um, Usually, you know, at our bait sites, they're like blown up, right? Like at, mm -hmm. a, at a bait site, any of us, you know, doesn't matter which one. There's 15, 20 scrapes you can see, you know, in the it, it, close to the scrape, mm -hmm. you know, close to the site. And it just started like in the last five days, you know, three three days, really. Mm -hmm. right. Sounds like perfect all timing. The way yeah. day, I know, sound perfect day. timing. But they had it. Just looking at the trail cam picture here, Lance and Ashton sent this to me. This is our target deer that we're going to go in for on day one. Just a an old five by five. Just look at the chest on that deer, though. Like the up here in Saskatchewan are so much bigger than anywhere else I've hunted body wise. And I think I think he's really five and a half to six and a half years old. So perfect deer to go after. It is. Pretty chilly walking out this morning, but no snow and the wind seems to have died down. So, man, my gut tells me there's gonna be a lot of deer activity today. Hopefully this guy wanders in, either chasing a doe or gets a little hungry. Just getting ready first morning here in saskatchewan dressed up and not gonna lie to you sweating like crazy in here but it's gonna be cold outside going after the northwestern white tails part of the north american deer slam and i'm excited last time i was here was 2018 dad and i came i was able to take an awesome old deer dad took a giant later on in the hunt you know, there's something about chasing these old chocolate horn deer up here in saskatchewan we had a big storm that rolled through the last two days, dropped 25 degrees in temp, nasty snow and wind yesterday. It's all looking like there's gonna be a ton of deer movement today. Fingers crossed, that's it. We're gonna be sitting on an old 10 point, I mean, ancient old body looks like a horse. Hopefully he cruises by today. They're starting to chase does, which means they're gonna be wandering and going at all times of the day. deer tracks in the snow as we were driving in because they've been moving all night long once that storm stops so and I think it's gonna be a good day Oh, we're 
I'm just getting everything set for morning two here. And good news is the wind is laid down. The bad news is it's about 10 degrees colder today than it was yesterday. So I'm gonna put a few more layers on today. But I think that wind yesterday really messed everything up because all the deer were just so jumpy. I'm guessing those older bucks just weren't moving quite as much and they were moving in, in night. So hopefully today's the day, but we will hunker down with some more clothes just knowing how cold it's gonna be. came in right at last light. I was hoping he was gonna turn broadside, but we're getting so close to legal shooting light. He finally lifted it up and I put it right right in front of that, um, his shoulder there, should've went right back. He mule kicked as he ran out. Man, talk about last light. There, we had a doe out there. You could tell this guy instantly came in. His body was way bigger than everything else we saw. Just an old, old 10 point chocolate horn. We waited till he lifted his head up just to make 100% sure that was him. His left brow was way taller than his right. So, whew, man, that is it. Two long days in the blind, but it's worth it on that guy. That's awesome. I'm gonna message Lance right now and let him know that we shot. Well, we just got out of the blind. The shot looked like it was perfect, but before it gets too dark here, we just wanna go look, see what kind of blood we got next to where the bait's at. If there's good blood, we'll follow it right in. But, and he looked like he just ate up all that shot right there. So I don't think he went very far. Oh, there he is. 
Oh man, he's super wide, way wider than I thought. That's awesome. Look at the size of this guy. Look at his body, his neck. Oh, that is awesome. That is what you come to Saskatchewan for right there. It's a super old white tail, giant body, giant neck. They know that this deer is at least five and a half, could be six and a half. Just dark chocolate horns, super heavy all the way through. Oh, I can never get over how big the bodies are here. When we hunted here in 18, it was the same thing just walking up. They're so much bigger than anywhere else. Just huge. That is awesome. Saskatchewan, Northwestern Whitetail. Oh, you didn't go very far. Nice. You didn't go very far. Love it. I do. I was gonna mess with you and tell you I shot the wrong one, but I couldn't do it. He's um, over here. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Sweet. Heck yeah. Wow. Did he come by the blind? Or? No, he came uh, straight on. I mean, with like five minutes left of legal shooting. Stiff legged? Just, well, there was a doe there. And we'd seen the smaller bucks, and I, I was sitting there, and I told Aaron, deer in the back. And as soon as I saw his body, I'm like, it's him. I didn't even see, I didn't <laughs> see anything else. I just grabbed my headphones, stuck the headphones on, and then he came straight into the pile and put his head down and had to wait for it. Like, I want him to lift up. I can tell he's a 10, but I wanted to make sure that his left brow was longer than his right. Yeah. And then I just swamped him right there straight on. Just took just, it. Just, just right there. Just went with the old Just, <laughs> just thought chest about two days, helper. two days in the blind, just like, mm, well, that's it. We're let just, her bark. We're gonna, we're gonna let the big dog bark. In the past, I've been on some cold hunts, but I think this one takes the cake. The last two days have been long and mentally draining just because of the cold temps. November in Saskatchewan, you never know what you're gonna get, but weather is one of those things you have to fight to find those big chocolate rat Canadian bucks. My quest was to take down the Northwestern whitetail, and after 22 hours in the blind, this makes number five on my journey for the North American Deer Slam. Hey everyone, for more information on the North America Deer Slam, make sure to visit markvpeterson.com or visit any of my social channels. Also, check out the Deer Slam maps and each species information at markvpeterson.com.